Hi everyone! My name is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to do the Unpopular Opinions book tag. I am unsure who the original creator of this tag is, but I first saw it on Murphy Napier's channel, so I'm going to link her video down below. So I think part of the fun of talking about books with one another is even if we like the same books, we don't always agree on what we like or what we don't like about them. And sometimes we can have widely Di diversive opinions. Sometimes we can have widely opposite opinions. And so I thought that this would be a fun tag to do. Just, and also, I find tags fun because they remind me of chain letters when I was a teenager. So, to get started, the first question is, a popular book or series you don't like? And for me, that is Hunger Games. I have a hard time with Hunger Games because I feel that Katniss is whiny, which I know is going to be a very unpopular opinion. I think that in a dystopian world, she is acting like a modern day teenager and not someone from that society. And so I read the first one, didn't care for it, started the second book, and DNF'd it because I just could not take watching things in her point of view anymore. Number two, a popular book or series that everyone else seems to hate, but I love. Now I'm not sure if a lot of people hate it, but from what I've seen this year, a lot of people don't really like it. And But I really loved it when I read it, and that is A City in the Middle of the Night by Charlie Jane Anders. And this is more of a political science fiction which I have discovered this year, I really enjoy political sci-fi. And also, Anders is not afraid to hit upon social issues and mental health issues, and you get to see all of that in the book. So I really enjoyed it. Number three, a love triangle where the main characters ended up with persons you did not want them to. And I'm supposed to warn people of spoilers. Now the love triangle is not my favorite trope, but it's not one I hate. If it's in the book, fine. And usually by the end of the series, I'm fine with whoever the main character ends up with. Even if that's not who I wanted her to end up with at the beginning, typically. One love triangle that I disagree on the pairing, even though that is like the central foundation of the series, is Twilight. I thought Bella should have ended up with Jacob because he was a healthier mental choice for her. He actually respected her and wanted what was best for her, whereas Edward just wanted her and then said he didn't want her and then wanted her again, but wanted her to do what he wanted her to do. Yeah. There's many flaws with this series, but this like the love triangle i think was i think she ended up with the wrong person number four a popular genre book genre that you hardly reach for and for me that is thrillers so i do watch a couple booktubers who really like thrillers like casey over at lost in a bookcase and oh, i don't know her name but she's oh jordan from sorry book solid both of them really enjoy thrillers but i don't do not but i enjoy their content still the same Number five, a popular or beloved character that you don't like. And I really couldn't think of much, so I went with Katniss again. Six, a popular author that you can't seem to get into. Now, I read a lot of fantasy and sci-fi, and so popular science, no, a, pop a popular fantasy author is Robert Jordan with from the Wheel of Time series. But I'm just having a really hard time with his books. I am still in the middle of book five. Yeah. Seven, a popular book trope that you are tired of seeing. So I don't know so much of it, it's a popular book trope with readers, but I see it a lot in authors. And that is miscommunication for miscommunication to block up the story. Just people not talking to one another. And so, that's the whole conflict is because if they had had a five minute conversation, yeah, everything would have been solved. 
I don't like this trope. Number eight, a popular series that you have no interest in reading. And that would be Brandon Sanderson's Stormlight series, starting off with The Way of Kings. I just, I don't have any interest in reading it. And then number nine, the saying goes, the book is better than the movie. But what movie or TV show did you like better than the book? So my first initial thought was Hunger Games because I did enjoy the movies better than the book because you're not stuck in Katniss's head. But to mix it up, I'm going to say Emma, um, specifically the Gwyneth Paltrow version. I really love that, which is what made me want to read Emma. And then I just didn't enjoy the book as much, but I still really enjoyed the movie. So yeah, thank you for joining me on my unpopular opinions. I'm curious to know what you think of them. And if you like my content, please click that subscribe button. I am working on being more consistent this holiday season on videos. Hopefully getting to that will continue into the next season as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.